Hi, my name is Hannah and I did the medicine wheel with Chris and the spirit of the Inca um, last year. It was really a life-changing experience, but I have to admit, initially going into it, I didn't really know what I'd said yes to. And I was also terrified and, and maybe slightly skeptical because I, I basically did the year training because I had two friends that had done it and they thought it was incredible and they were so convinced that it was perfect for me and I needed to experience it, I suppose, to, to understand the transformational effects of it. So um, specifically when I came to do the training, we were asked in the first part of the training um, to put, pick three issues and I picked issues around relationships, um, around control and actually around my mother's passing. So I actually did the medicine wheel um, around the time that, well, my mum had been ill for a long time, but around the, the time my mum left. So it, I'm so grateful. I actually can't put into words how grateful I am that this was the year that I did the medicine wheel because it was a support that I didn't realize I needed before, but actually helped me through what was one of the most difficult things I've gone through in my life, right? So um, <laughs> timing is always perfect, right? It was definitely divine timing. And I actually did the second part of the wheel just after my mum's passing. And it helped me with my grief um, in such an extraordinary way. It's, it, it gave me a, so many different levels of understanding that I wouldn't have had otherwise. The other two issues are actually issues that, it's, it's really beautiful doing this video because I'm reflecting on the place that I was then and I'm reflecting now on the place that I am. And it's just, it's like two different worlds. It's like two different realities. The things that I wanted to work on, I have worked on, but I've actually, I think sometimes you have to let go of the result, right? You have to let go of the expectation of what it's gonna look like when you've worked on these things. And when you do that, it allows for, you know, source or whatever you want it to call it to create something so much bigger. And I feel that that's what's happened in my life. And it's really hard to put that into words when it's actually just a feeling that you have within you. Um, the best way that I can express it is that I feel freer. <laughs> um, I feel freer. I feel that things come to me easier. Um, my life has gone through huge transformations in this time. Um, economically, um, in my business, in my relationships, my relationships have completely changed, um, which is extraordinary. That's something that was a big pain point for me. <laughs> um, and it's not anymore. And that is incredible to be able to say that, um, the place that I live is completely different. The, um, the, the success my business has had, the success, um, economically that I've had, that I never dreamed of having, all of these things are seeds that I planted in the wheel. These are, uh, they, they feel small to, <laughs> in comparison to how they actually feel within my life. I suppose what I feel in my life is that sense of freedom, that sense of everything is happening and everything is okay. And, and even when things aren't okay, it's still going to be okay. And actually having that bravery to face um, all of the difficult things that have happened. I suppose the wheel, that is one of the things that the wheel taught me is to not run away from my pain and actually to be honest and authentic with myself and, and tools that I can use um, when emotion does come up for me. I suppose another big thing for me is to be less mental and more into my body. And that's what a lot of the shamanic training teaches you. It teaches you about embodiment and actually not trying to rationalize and trying to sense, right? And that is actually in itself something that has changed my life because I am such a mental analytic person, analytical person. Um, it's funny, uh, a lot of people around me, most of the people around me have said this, we're like, we don't understand what you've done in this year, Hannah, but you're a completely different person. And that's beautiful because it's not even just, I recognize it that obviously that shift is, is visible outside. But I suppose, and I'm gonna come back to the passing of my mother, the most valuable thing um, that I learned, that I experienced in the wheel is when we did the death rites and when we did the work with our ancestors. All of these things helped me process and understand and connect um, 
to the passing of my mother in such a different but more complete way and I am eternally grateful for Chris for that. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's really hard to express everything that I want to say, but to sum it up, I'm not the same person who entered those doors, um, the first, <laughs> on the first part, and um, I'm not even the same person who entered the second part, the third part, or the fourth part, and, and the beauty of the shamanic medicine is that Every time that I've done a training, every time that I've worked with Chris, every time that I work with this medicine, I plant seeds and that grows into something beautiful and, and, <laughs> and magic. And I'm excited to see how things keep transforming in my life because it's definitely not finished. This is a life's practice and, and things are always blossoming in remarkable, remarkable ways. So thank you so much for giving me a gift that has really changed my life and Thank you for sharing such ancient, beautiful wisdom with us all. It's super appreciated. <laughs>